My dear friends, the Lord is saying, I tell you this, no one greater than John the Baptist has risen from among the sons of the men. And yet, the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. It speaks about two arenas, two generations, two, two kinds of time. Time after salvation and time before salvation. With the birth of Christ, all history was divided into two, B.C. and A.D. So John was in the Old Covenant, and John the Baptist was in the Old Covenant. The Lord is saying there is no greater person than John. He was born, he, was, he became a prophet after about 400 years of waiting. And he, he was like Elijah, and uh, made a lot of sacrifices. And he was in the wilderness, discerning the voice of the voice of the God. And uh, he did a tremendous service in his mission. But the Lord is saying, he's less than the least person in the kingdom of God. That's after Christ. Jesus brought forth this greater union and connection. Jesus became the became the Lord who lived among us in the relationships in the relationship marvelous things can happen that's why the Lord is saying for I am with your God take hold of your right hand and say to you fear not I am your assistance the Lord is saying it's going to take, take me from my hold me from my right hand Amalim husband takes the wife from the right hand that's where he becomes my soul's friend. Normally, when he holds from my right hand, we are right-handed personalities. Now, mostly of them are right-handed. So we won't be able to do whatever you or we want. The Lord will help us. This is the assistance would come from the mountains. Jacob, poor worm, and you people of Israel, so frail. I am your Redeemer, says Yahweh, the Holy One of Israel, your Helper. We are just we are useless creatures like the worms. There is no value within ourselves. The Lord is saying, yet I will help you. In our most desperate state, when we are completely done and cut off, cut off yet our Lord is with us. A man the Lord is with us. He will do the impossible. The poor and the afflicted seek water and find none. Their tongues are parched with thirst. But I, we will hear them. So in your desperate situation, in your zero level, Lord will come to your assistance. And He will show that there's only I. There's only I. He is going to, he will hold your hand. He will hold your hand always. He will never let you go. I will open up the streams over the barren heights and let the rivers flow through all the valleys. I will turn the desert into lakes and brooks and the thirsty earth into land of springs. This is how the Lord works. He will turn your impossibility into a possibility, into a blessing. So let's all search for his right hand. Let him hold you from his right hand. And things will change definitely. So, Old Testament, Old Covenant, and New Covenant. There's this huge difference. After Jesus' coming, we became completely his friends. We became children of God. We became friends of God. And just enjoy that relationship. Because our religion is a relationship. Amen. May God bless you.